For the extension part, what I suggest you do is use a power band like this. Now, Claire's gonna show us. This is to try and just like the dorsiflexion for the ankle. We're trying to replicate what I did in the clinic for the patient at home to get the best results. So we want, again, to do a PA glide of the radio and ulna at the wrist joint, okay? So you're gliding those two bones on the hand, if you like. Now the power band is great for this. Rig it up, something that's not gonna move, and have it low. Obviously, you want that direct line through here at the floor. Now she's gonna try and reach forward as far as she can, as far as strength goes. So there's a big pull on the band going this way. So that's, there's a drag PA, which is like me doing a PA with my hand, if you know what I mean. Now, at this point, she's weight bearing most on the left and on her legs, okay? So she should have to be in a sort of like a running sort of type four point position because I don't want her weight bearing fully on this. Remember, the wrist is sore, it's sensitive to load, and we haven't done any strengthening yet. We don't want to weight bear too much on this. So weight bearing's over the other side. There's just a little bit of pressure here, enough to plant her hand, and then she's gonna move her body or use her body to move forward. So she's gonna go into wrist extension, but she's like in a closed chain position. So the hand's fixed. She's gonna move her body, which effectively gives her that wrist extension. So she's doing that movement, but she's doing it with her body, okay? Therefore, you gotta be careful how much weight you put through that, because if you put too much weight through it, it's gonna be sore, you won't wanna do it. So the weight bearing sits on the left side, through the knees, so she's hardly anything here, maybe 25%, nothing, compared to like 75% on that arm and she's just trying to push through repetition range, not holding it there in rain range. You can hold it for a bit, maybe a few seconds, and but trying to get as much as she can because the repetitions and the mobilization like we did in the room, that's gonna be the effective part of and stuff she can do during the week in between physio sessions, this is gonna be great. So that's for your extension part. Now you're wondering how we do the palm flexion or wrist flexion, so that's pretty easy. You just flip around the other way of the band, and of course you're gonna go into wrist flexion instead. So this way, what's happening is you're doing an AP of that radial ulna, so it's going the opposite direction because you're doing the opposite direction this way. Now, what will happen if she just comes backwards, that hand, that wrist is gonna come off the ground, okay? So what I want her to do is put a bit of weight through the knee, not much. A little bit of weight, just keeping that hand. So you've got to be comfortable just putting, just keeping that hand down so it's not going to move. You're not going to squash it, that's going to hurt. So she's just lightly touching that hand to keep it fixed in position. She's weight bearing on the other leg. And then she's going to just sit backwards. So her shoulder comes backwards and that will stretch open the wrist through here. So this point here, she's going to try and stretch all of this going that way and the band is dragging her this way, which is exactly what I was doing in the clinic. Okay, so same glide movement. That's really gonna help improve her range. Again, reps and sets, she's gotta do repetitions of this. She can hold a little bit of a stretch there to get a bit of a stretch through the soft tissues here. That's fine. But you'd be surprised, that feels really good afterwards, okay? When you're doing it, it's like, oh, that's, you know, that's pretty tight. And then after, it's like, yes, that's loosened up. So this is a nice way especially for people who are struggling with just trying to do conventional stretching where they're getting a bit of jamming or it's just not opening up, add the band on and that will replicate to some extent what we're doing in the clinic. And again, this is really good for those clients going home and doing stuff that helps improve their wrist in between sessions. Now, strengthening. What I suggest we do is start the patient off not trying to go straight into wrist extension with press-ups. You know, some of these people, you might have got the movement better and it's all looser, but as soon as they load the tissue, still weak and sensitive, even though the range is better, and they still get sore. So what we get people doing is push-ups to strengthen the wrist in a neutral position. Now the best stuff to use is either a kettlebell or something like these little beauties called a Y-bell. Now, these are better than kettlebells on the floor because they're less wobbly, and especially for people who are not really trained in doing push-ups, they sit on the floor and they don't move, whereas a kettlebell's very, very wobbly. So a Y-bell is great, and for this sort of thing, what we get people doing 
is trying to do a push-up with their holding knees. Now, I'll get Claire to show us. With these ones, again, you've got to get that appropriate width apart. I like having them a little bit wider than their shoulders, so they're not doing a close push-up, but they're also not doing a wide push-up. At this point, there's a few things you've got to think about. She's not allowed to let that wrist slip in like that because that's going to jam it. All right? She's What we're trying to do, or the whole purpose of this, is to get her back to push-ups, but also to strengthen that wrist. Now, if she can hold, maintain that, she's learning stability there. So she's putting weight through there, so she's learning not to flip out that way and not to flip in this way. All right? So keeping that wrist in neutral, one, stops the pain, but two, actually strengthens the tissues up. It gives her the opportunity to load down through the weakened tissues. And this sort of rehab is really important for people who have had their arm in a cast or in a brace following a sprain or a fracture because the tissues are going to be weak anyway. So even before we get people doing push-ups for wrist pain or because they want to go back to push-ups, the people that have been in casts and fractures need to do this sort of work anyway to try and strengthen that wrist. And the best way to do it is start in this sort of fixed position like that rather than pushing the wrist in that position where it's going to be weak. Okay, so whether you've had wrist pain into and pain with push-ups or you've had a previous sprain or fracture, this is the best thing to do to start with. Now, she can just do weight bearing like that. Maybe that's enough for her. But when you go into her, or well, she goes into push-up, she's got to make sure that, if you drop down for me, when she comes down, if you just go down into a push-up for me, and then come back up. She's got to make sure, again, that her wrist is in the right position, that she doesn't jam it through there. So she can't have the bales too far forward, can't have the bales too far backwards, but also, like I said, when she drops down, if you go down for me, she can't go and roll that wrist out around. But I really can't move her wrist when she does that. When she weights bear, weight bears, go again, she's pretty solid through there. So as soon as you start loading, you're going to hold that pretty stable. You've just got to start in the right position where you don't roll it out or roll it in. Get that perfect. And the other thing I want to work on is make sure she is a little bit externally rotated in the shoulder. Okay, That looks after the shoulder, but also creates a really good dynamic when she's going into that push-up. So that would be the starting point. And again, I would come forward a little bit with her so she's her angles are all correct on those bells. That's a great starting point for the push-up. Once she gets that stronger, then she'll start working on going to her hands when that sort of movement is pain-free and then building the strength from there. See you next time.